Hi, my name is Shelly. I'm with Spirit Keeper Equine Sanctuary. This is Lori and this is Patch. They're also with Spirit Keeper Equine Sanctuary. <laughs> Patch is this spring turning 20. So we thought we'd bring him out and introduce him to you. Lori. All right, well Patch isn't actually part of our sanctuary program as a resident. Patch is part of our sanctuary program special needs boarding program. And what that means basically is when horses um, would meet the requirements or meet the criteria to be admitted into the sanctuary, but we're not able to admit them. And right now we are unable to admit any horses because we're full and we don't have additional financial resources to be able to afford to take on additional horses. Um, Patch is being boarded here. And how that came about, well, in 2007, Patch was part of a group of 32 horses that were at a slaughter plant in Illinois. And that slaughter plant closed down and these 32 horses got a reprieve. So they're all sitting there at the slaughter plant in Illinois, um, their lives just barely saved. And a local horse rescue that, that used to have their headquarters here, Front Range Equine Rescue, brought the whole truckload of 32 horses to Colorado and they got sent out to different horse rescues, sanctuaries, and adopters. So um, my husband Jim and I personally adopted two of the horses from that slaughter truck, Hunter and Rade. They live here at the sanctuary. Ruby Ranch Horse Rescue took in some of the horses and Patch was one of those horses. Now one of the things that we've seen in the years since um, that has been pretty common among all of those horses that came from that slaughter plant that I've worked with is they all have what humans would consider behavioral issues. They have a huge distrust of people and all of them that I'm aware of that we've personally been involved with have, have failed to be able to be riding horses because they have so much anxiety associated with things on their back and with people riding them. So Patch is um, 20 years old. He's starting to approach that senior age, but right now he's not under any special nutrition. He's here for behavioral reasons because as long as Patch is treated appropriately, he's not any issue to handle, but he can't be ridden. Mm -hmm. And so he's technically still owned by Ruby Ranch Horse Rescue. And uh, they had him placed six years ago in what they called a permanent foster home to be a companion to someone's other horse. Well, that someone's other horse recently died and um, she recently remarried and she and her husband um, are almost completely retired and doing a lot of traveling now. And she um, and her husband felt like rather than get a second horse to be a companion to Patch, that they should return Patch to Ruby Ranch Horse Rescue where he could find a permanent home. Well, Ruby Ranch Horse Rescue in 2015 gave up their facility and started doing networking um, and fundraising to help other rescues. So they no longer have a facility. So when Patch got returned, um, Ruby Ranch Horse Rescue, who we work with extensively, reached out to us and I said, we just financially cannot take him, but we could do special needs boarding. Now his foster mom loves him immensely. And so she has paid for him to stay here for four months in special needs boarding. And those special needs again are behavioral. He needs to be with people who know how to handle horses that have had past psychological trauma and abuse and um, who manage them correctly and don't try to ask things of them that wouldn't be appropriate for their mindset, like riding them. Yeah. Um, so Patch is here right now through May and I just talked with the foster mom yesterday and met with um, Ruby Ranch Horse Rescue's director and it looks like if a foster home or an adoptive home isn't found by the end of May that he will stay here at least through June. And that's because in June we're having two special events here. One being a solstice celebration which it's the first time we've done it and we're super excited about. Yes. So on June 21st, which is a Friday night, we're gonna open up the sanctuary to overnight camping. And we're gonna have a big cookout and some other fun activities that evening for people to camp out here with the horses. And then on Saturday, June 22nd, we're gonna have Melissa Shandley come and do an equine vis vision workshop. So we're gonna talk about equine vision and how that affects horses' behavior. And then people are gonna to get to build a horse head mask and it's gonna have mirrors placed inside so that when we as humans wear that mask, we see the world as horses see the world. And I've done it before and it's really freaky and I got nauseous the first time. <laughs> 
because you have a blind spot right here. You're seeing simultaneously both sides of you and behind you, and it's it's just an amazing, I literally eye-opening experience. <laughs> and so we hope that you guys will join us for that. The first yes. 10 people to register for the weekend get free admission to the Equine Vision Workshop, including your mask kit. And oh, you'll get to nice. keep your mask. Um, and then any one after the first 10, it's going to be $35 a person. And that's just for the, the training? That's the, just for the, the camping, equine vision workshop. The camping, the camping is free. free. We just want to have a big, fun horse party out here yeah. to celebrate the summer. So you can bring your campers, your tents, tents a sleeping bag. Yeah, whatever. If you want to sleep on the ground, whatever. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So anyway, Patch will be here unless we find an adoptive home or a foster home before then, at least through June, so people will be able to meet him. Um, what am I leaving out about If you're that? not interested in actually adopting him oh, yes. from Ruby Ranch, yes. you can sponsor him. You can pay for his board and keep him here where you know he is safe and taken care of. Ruby Ranch Horse Rescue really, really wanted to transfer him to our ownership, but we just, we have 50 horses in our care and financially we're done. We just cannot take on that financial burden of even one more horse. And it saddens us to say that. Yeah. Um, and then Patch's foster mom loves him a lot and would love for him to stay here. So if after June, um, we haven't found him a foster home or an adoptive home, and that would be done through Ruby Ranch Horse Rescue, which we can set you up with, and somebody would want to sponsor him to stay here, um, it's $250 a month is his care to stay at the sanctuary. And that includes um, his vaccinations, his dental work, his farrier work, all his feed and care and anything else he would need and to just get to stay here and be a sanctuary horse. Yeah. And of course, visitation would be allowed if you afford him. Oh, we'd be happy, yes, to let you visit any time, to send you pictures and videos of Patch. We're all about that. Yeah. You can see he's pretty docile for having been a meat horse. As long as you don't try to do things to him yeah. that cause his anxiety to flare up, he's fantastic. Looking for more treats. <laughs> there you go.